Now the next topic is um, step response. Now we'll see how different is step response from impulse response. Now, when you have a input x of n and output y of n, if input is delta of n, that is impulse, then the output what you get is impulse response, right? So h h of n, we know that it is impulse response. Impulse response. Now, we need to know what is step response. Now, when the input was impulse, what response we got is impulse response. Now, if the imp input is unit step function, the output what you get is called step response. Right? So, this is the transformation of the system. Now, the basic understanding here is if input and output if input is impulse output is h of n that is if input is impulse function this is called h of n is called impulse response right and if input is u of n the output is called s of n which is step response right so now we'll try to get a relationship between step response and impulse response now we know that y of n is equal to output is x of n convolution h of n for discrete case or it is called convolution sum i can interchange these by using the commutative property which i have already proved right so h of n now when input is x of n, when input x of n is u of n, output y of n is s of n. So I'll get s of n, y of n will become s of n when you have h of n convolved with u of n because when the input is u of n. Now what is this convolution? Summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of k u of n minus k. Right? u of n minus k. Now what is where is this uh, summation existing now u of n minus k so what is u of n u of n it is 1 from 0 to infinity right 0 1 2 3 4 5 so that means if n value is 0 you have amplitude of 1 n value 1 amplitude 1 n value 2 amplitude 1 and so on that means the value here has to be greater than 0 greater than or equal to 0 because u of 0 is also 1 u of 1 is also 1 so that n value must be greater than or equal to 0 similarly u of n minus k is valid when n minus k is greater than or equal to 0 right or k is k is less than or equal to n or i can write k is less than or equal to n right so this is the condition for u of n minus k u of n minus k is positive i mean is is equal to 1 for k less than n right so what is the summation limit the lower limit will remain the same the upper limit of k is less than n. The lower limit is minus infinity. That is the ma leftmost maxima. What is the rightmost maxima? Infinity. But that is overtaken by k less than n. So this is n and I will be getting h of k. What is u of n minus k in that range? When n minus k is greater than or equal to 0, it is 1. So s of n that is step response is given by this expression wherein which relates step response and impulse response right so step response is summation of impulse response from k is equal to minus infinity to a particular time i mean particular sample n now the same thing for continuous time so we have y of t is equal to h of t convolution 
u uh, x of t now y of t will become s of t when input is u of t so how do i write it it is tau is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of tau u of t minus tau d tau now where is this u of t minus tau existing so u of u of any function will be existing for the inner value t minus tau greater than or equal to 0 that means tau is less than or equal to t right so the restriction on tau is for the upper limit it has to be less than infinity and less than t right uh, tau has to be less than t so lower extreme is retained so you get s of t is equal to tau is equal to minus infinity to t because upper limit is tau is less than t h of tau u of t minus tau amplitude is 1 so d tau now this is the equation for step response of a continuous time signal when impulse response is given so when impulse response is given this is how you find the step response of a discrete time signal or a or a discrete time system and a continuous time system in the second case so we will be solving some problems under uh, uh, this as in you will be given with the impulse response and we will be finding the step response you will be given with the uh, impulse response and we will be asked to find uh, whether the system is causal, memoryless and stable of and uh, all the problems of that sort. So now we will be solving some problems under uh, finding the step response when impulse response is given. Now when impulse response is given what is step response formula which is we have already derived n is equal uh, sorry k is equal to k is equal to minus infinity to n h of k so since you have u of n and you, we know that u of n starts from 0 and it goes till infinity so the lower limit will be 0 or let me take the value of n say if n is less than 0 that means k is equal to minus infinity to uh, n n if it is less than 0 so say for example minus 2 so for minus 2 I will be getting n is in n is less than 0 that is minus 2 half power minus 2 u of minus 2 u of minus 2 is 0 so for n less than 0 s of n is equal to 0 for if n is greater than or equal to 0 s of n is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to n why is k is equal to 0 because u of n or u of k is starting from 0 to infinity so i'll be getting half power k because you have h of k so half power k and u of k u of k is 0 oh, sorry 1 from 0 to n so this is nothing but 1 minus half power n plus 1 divided by 1 minus half so because it is of the form summation n is equal to 0 to n alpha power n that is 1 minus alpha power n plus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha so if i simplify this i will be getting half and if i take the numerator it will be 2 1 minus half power n plus 1 this is the value for n greater than or equal to 0 so when n is less than 0 the step response is 0 and when n is greater than 0 the step response is 2 this 2 comes because 1 minus half is half and taking to the numerator it is 2 now second problem h of t is equal to t into u of t now again since you have u of t my s of t is integral tau is equal to minus infinity to t h of tau d tau now when t is if t is less than 0 u of t will be u of tau will be 0 so s of t is 0 because say t is less than 0 or minus 2 t value is minus 2 what is h of tau h of tau is tau into u of tau so what is tau value there it is minus 2 
so tau of minus u of minus 2 is 0 so that you will be getting 0 if t is greater than or equal to 0 s of t is tau is equal to minus infinity to t into h of tau h of tau is h of t is t into u of t it is tau d tau so it is tau square by 2 from t minus infinity so half into e power sorry tau right so this is tau so tau square so i will be getting t square minus i will be getting the, sorry the lower limit here is uh, in zero because of the presence of u of tau why because u of tau is a waveform which starts from zero and goes to infinity so it is lower limit is zero so it will be zero here so what i will be getting is t square by 2 so the step response s of t is t square by 2 when t is greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for t less than 0. Now if h of t is given to be e power minus mod t we know how to write this h of t is e power min mod t is minus t for t less than 0 so it will be t e power t for t less than 0 and it is e power minus t for t greater than or equal to 0 right. So, these are the two conditions for t values I get. Now, the step response is minus infinity to t h of tau d tau. Right? So, let me take value if t is less than 0. Now, if t is less than 0, s of t is tau is equal to minus infinity to t. What is h of for t when t is less than 0? it is e power t e power t is h of t h of tau is e power tau d tau so it is e power tau t and minus infinity so it will be e power t now if t is greater than or equal to 0 right so s of t is greater than or equal to 0 means it will have negative values as well as positive values because the waveform will look like this as we have taken an example of uh, h of t is equal to e power minus 4 mod t right so this waveform is e power minus t this waveform is e power t but negative value so i will be getting the same uh, negative going exponential so here i will be getting tau is equal to minus infinity to 0 i will be getting e power tau d tau plus 0 to t e power minus tau d tau why because for negative values of t it is e power t so minus infinity to 0 is negative values e power t will become e power tau because i need to write h of tau not h of t so then for positive values it is e power minus see it is j just like this t which we have taken initially for to be less than 0 it is for less ne negative values it is e power t for positive values i should take negative uh, span as well as positives span so this will be e power tau from 0 to minus infinity plus e power minus tau divided by minus 1 from t to 0 so this will be 1 minus 0 e power 0 is 1 minus this is t so e power minus t minus 1 so it will be 1 minus e power minus t plus 1 so it will be 2 minus e power minus t when t is greater than or equal to 0 so s of t the step response can be written as e power t for t less than 0 and 2 minus e power minus t for t greater than or equal to 0 so i have uh, solved uh, different types of uh, problems under uh, step response uh, of um, the system i mean finding the step response of the system when the impulse response is given hope this will be helpful for you uh, thank you for watching